If you've updated Comfy UI recently, you might have noticed a few changes to the latest beta version of their interface. I thought I'd do the same sort of thing with this extra simplified workflow. It still has the very finest custom samplers and other nerdery, but it's designed so you never need to move away from this one screen whilst generating. All those complex settings and things are nicely tucked out of the way, plus with no visible noodles, it's great for the spaghetti averse amongst you as well. All you really need to change is the prompt and the image size, so what could be easier? Also included by default is an option to use the new Llama 3.2 model for prompt enhancement. Llama 3.2 is great because its tiny size fits nicely into VRAM and it's fairly decent at prompt understanding, especially given its diminutive attributes. Being a Comfy UI workflow, you will of course need Comfy UI installed, and for Windows users, you can't get easier than their portable download. If you do need help installing it or other additional information, check out the links available in the description of this video. Before getting into the workflow details, which should hopefully be easy enough to understand at a glance anyway, let's take a look at some of those interface changes. Now, down here in the bottom right, we've got zoom in, zoom out, reset view select mode and toggle link visibility. Of course, I've got link visibility off there. Now this select mode, that's the normal one. So that allows you to select different nodes. Well, the other thing you can do is press space. And now, oh, you've got a little hand, but if you click the button, now it moves. It used to be that you could just press space and move, but now you've got to click the button as well. Up the top, we've got workflow and edit. Edit just has the, the usual stuff in there, undo, redo. Workflow has changed a little bit. As you can see now, it makes a bit more sense. So you've got new, open, browse templates, save and export. If you go to browse templates, that gives you four new ones. So this is a little bit like load default, only you've got four defaults. So you could click on Comfy UI Flux and then you get a Comfy UI Flux workflow. All fairly simple stuff, but I do think it helps with the usability of Comfy, which I'm kind of using with this workflow here because I'm, I'm making use of the reset view because that's what reset view does. It takes you back to this screen, which you never need to leave. Now, before you can set this up, you will need a few other little things as well, such as Olama. Olama is super easy to install though with one click options for macOS, Windows and Linux as well. As mentioned, the workflow is pre-configured to use the Llama 3.2 large language model, much like their default quick start is there. Although in the case of Llama 3.2, it's, it's more of a small language model. Look down here, Llama 3.2, parameters 3B and 1B, size 2 gig and 1.3. So that's what makes it so good. It's really small, very good at prompt understanding and you can keep it in VRAM given its size. Exactly like they show in their instructions to get the latest Llama 3.2 model, you just need to run Olama pull Llama 3.2. They've got Olama run, which will run the, uh, the large language model for you, but we just need to download the model. There you can see it's only two gig. As mentioned, the workflow is configured for Llama 3.2 by default, meaning you don't have to change anything later, but you can pick any supported model or use one of the smaller Llamas. I'll show you how to change that later. Now, the first time you load just about any workflow in Comfy UI, the chances are you'll need some custom nodes for it. This is where Comfy UI Manager comes in handy. So if this is your very first time using Comfy and you haven't got Comfy UI Manager installed yet, do that now. Comfy UI Manager will let you install any missing nodes for a workflow. So if you are missing some, open up Manager, click Install Missing and restart when prompted. All nice and easy. Right then, with the basics out of the way, we can start looking at the workflow itself. As mentioned, step one is to toggle that link visibility we saw earlier to off, and then you won't have the spaghetti. The reset view, as I said before, will always take you back to this spot as well. So if you ever get lost, if you do move for some reason, just click reset view and you'll be back there. If you want to change the image size, you can do that in the image size node. So just enter the width and height, it will fix it for you. It's always got to be a multiple of 16, but the node does that. Enable LLM enhance mode is just a toggle box, so you can have that on or off. You've got an initial seed, pick one you want, and again, you can change these to fixed, increment, decrement, or randomize. I'll just leave that on fixed. And there's also a high res mode as well. Again, just click that to true if you want to enable it. And that's it. You don't really need to move away from this screen. However, you will need to set up a few things the very first time you use it, 
which you can do by pressing the number one on the keyboard. There's also some notes down there with all of these instructions as well. There it is, press one on the keyboard to go to the model settings. There I've pressed one and it's taken me up to the model settings. So this is where you've got all the bits and pieces for your normal flux. So there's your model. Now, if you don't yet have Flux, then Comfy UI Examples have a great page which links all the models and where to download them to, with the links also being in the notes for you there as well. The defaults for this workflow are quality, so will work best with a 24 gig GPU, as it typically uses around 18 gig of VRAM. However, don't worry if you do have a lower VRAM card, as the smaller GGUF models are also available. You've got Q2 up to Q8 available there, and you can see all the file sizes. So pick the one that fits best with your hardware, remembering that you'll need at least one or two gig for Llama as well. By default, it's set up for the standard Flux model. So if you are a GGF user, don't forget to enable that node, and then you can connect the model into that one, and then you don't need that node anymore at all. You're just using GGUF. This workflow is designed specifically for use with the eight step Flux Hyperlora, so don't forget to download that one as well. On top of that, you can also add up to three LoRa's of your own choice as well there in LoRa 2, 3, and 4. For better text, the default clip is this one from Zero Int, which is a fine tune of Clip L, and who doesn't like better text? All nice and simple, and uh, also noted down there, if you press number two on your keyboard, then you'll go to the LLM setting. Now you don't need to change anything in here if you've been following the instructions in this video, but the options there say maybe you wanted to use that smaller Llama 3.1 model instead. So you'd put the name into that model name. Don't forget to save your updated workflow, then you can simply generate. So let's go back, we'll click reset view, and this is where we're going to stay. Okay, time to see it in action then. By default, the LLM isn't enabled and neither is high res mode. Like this, the prompt is exactly what you type and the size you specify. That's what I've done here. So I've got my cybernetic rat warrior from the future returning to his ancient wooden home inside the space station Aramox 4. His bulky orange and black mechanical power armor is dented from impact, though the rodent logo is still visible on his chest plate. It's sort of there but that doesn't look very much like a space station, does it? Okay, let's try and enable LLM enhance mode. We'll cue that up and see what happens. Nice, now we're cooking with llamas. And being such a tiny model, we can keep our conversations going. So let's see how good it is at chatting. Now, remember, it can't actually see the image, even though I may type things as if it can. All we're doing here is changing the text a bit like talking to chat GPT if you've ever used that. So let's do something like, I don't know, uh, give him a hat instead. What's that gonna turn out like? Oh yeah, nice hat. Although his armor seems to have changed color a little bit. So let's try this one, that's good. Perhaps give him a mustache and a monocle to go with that hat. And don't forget the armor should be black and orange. Let's cue that one up. Okay, that's much better. We've got the orange armor. He's got his hat, seems to have forgotten the monocle and the moustache, but never mind, it is an LLM. So let's do something really weird. If he looked around the corner, what would he see? And apparently that is what he'd see. So as you can see, you can talk to it almost as if it's like a story rather than a, a picture editor. So here's another one. Could you describe a portrait of our warrior rodent's best pal? And it turns out that even a rodent's best friend is a dog. He seems to have some sort of cybernetic pad there as well. All right, let's, let's try one more thing then just to show you how fun large language models can be. What would they typically eat before going on a mission? And now we can see what they typically eat, which seems to be Ara or something like that. Anyway, as you can see, loads of fun to be had. Very simple interface, no more scrolling around, no spaghetti, nothing which looks as if it's complicated. Just type your prompt and generate. Now, if you want to download the workflow, it's available over on Hugging Face, along with an LLM free version for the language model averse who just want the simple interface. Patreons, of course, get support and even a special ultimate edition too. A big thanks to you all for making this channel possible. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day, showing us AI.
in a really British way. 